Now, an amazing story to tell you about. A 36-year-old woman collapsed before a volleyball game at Northview High School in Brazil last night. When the athletic trainer and doctor got to the woman, she didn't even have a pulse, and witnesses report she was turning blue. But hang on, this has a happy ending. News 10 Sarah Schaefer has the story of how a Tuesday night volleyball game became a life-changing event. It's new for you tonight at 10. It's just before a regular Tuesday night volleyball match at Northview High School when athletic trainer Nicole Gonzalez is called in a panic to the court. The patient was down in the um, bleachers. Um, I got to her, she was non-responsive, so we carried her down onto the gym floor and um, I you know, did the sternal rub and nothing, so I told my volleyball coach to get the AD and my athletic director to get Dr. Waters, who is back here, and he came out, couldn't find a pulse, so he immediately started um, chest compressions. Together, they continued for about five rounds of CPR. That's around three to five very long minutes. It's what they're both trained to do, but it was the first time Gonzalez actually had to put those life-saving skills to the test. I mean, it's definitely surreal. You save someone's life. I mean, just knowing that she's alive because you were able to do what you've been trained to do. She was supposed to be on the soccer field, but due to the opposing team's late arrival, she just happened to be nearby. Along with Dr. Waters, who says it was his very first night working at the school. He says this shows just how important it is to have athletic trainers at sporting events. And both agree on the importance of the defibrillator. AEDs are super important to have at athletic events, uh, public places, because um, this can happen to anywhere, anyone from a teenager to an adult in the stands, which is what happened last night. Um, you know, you can get a blow to the chest at a football game and you have it right there and you can slap it on them and it's there to assist you, you know, to save their life. In Brazil, Indiana, with photojournalist Gary Bryan, I'm Sarah Schaefer, News 10. Great work to those people. After she was revived, the woman was taken to the hospital, conscious and alert. Her name and condition are not being shared with us due to the privacy of the family.